Gauss-Jordan elimination is a method that uses row operations to reduce a matrix to reduced row echelon form. The first possible row operation is to switch any two rows. This is being illustrated now by switching rows 1 and 2. A second row operation is to add a multiple of one row to a second row. This replaces the second row. Note that in the current case, the multiple, negative 2, of row 1 is added to row 2 and the result replaces row 2. This row operation is the primary mechanism by which we quote-unquote zero out entries that are below or above leading ones in the matrix. The new multiple, negative 3, is chosen to quote-unquote zero out the positive 3 in the bottom row. The viewer should note that there are now zeros below the leading one in the top left entry. Perhaps the easiest way to obtain leading one in the second diagonal entry is to switch rows 2 and 3. Then we can zero out the one that is above the leading one, as shown here. A third row operation is that we may multiply any non-zero scalar to every entry in a particular row. In this case, the multiple negative one-half, or negative 0.5, will change the negative 2 in the bottom row to a leading 1 for that row. Finally, use this 1 to quote-unquote zero out the non-zero entries above it by first adding negative 5 times row 3 to row 1. Follow this with adding 4 times row 3 to row 2. The original matrix in this video is an augmented matrix representing the coefficients of a system of three linear equations and three variables. Once we have the reduced matrix, we can interpret the fourth column as the unique solution to the system.